Koreans everywhere were dreaming of a trip to Yokohama. Germany, after indifferent form, were now close to a record seventh final appearance. The Koreans' task was massive, but this was more than a simple football match. It was a national celebration. President Kim Dae-jung, the father of modern Korea, was in attendance, cheering Gus Hiddink's national heroes. Could they do it again? Your commentator is Ian Dark. Well, the Koreans really believe now that they can go all the way to the final. But in front of them, the formidable presence of Germany. And Schneider on the ball early on. But Korea have looked so well organised, apart from their other qualities. And this is Lee chun So. That's a lovely ball to Chadu Rai. The Germans stretched a little early on here. Lee chun So again, and a wonderful save by Oliver Kahn, one of the keepers of the tournament. He got hold of this well, and the fingertips of Kahn kept it out. Here's Frings raiding down the right-hand side. Again, very well cut out by this well-marshaled defence. And the German attack breaks down here. And he's in behind here, and that was a vital interception by Linka. And then the shot coming in from Park Ji-sung. Well, he can be president now. If he... It's Lee chun Su hovering over the free kick. Nicely struck, but it just clipped the top of the wall. Oh, that could take Germany there. Well, can the Koreans respond? It's very late for them. And Germany here with the chance to maybe... Wrap. It's almost time here, in fact it is time. Germany go through to the World Cup final again. Rudy Fuller has taken his unfancied side, unfancied this time, through to the Yokohama final. And Korea's great odyssey is over, but what an incredible journey it's been. Congratulations to Germany, but what a tragedy for goal scorer Michael Ballack that he won't grace the final.